Welcome to BTI, that's Bible Training Institute. We open the scriptures every week, line upon line, precept upon precept, here a little and there a little. Study with us and learn how to know God as a close, intimate, and personal friend, and learn what is soon to come upon this world. There's a reason of why Satan does not want us to understand the purpose of the church, because if ever our eyes come open enough, and we begin to understand intelligently why God has a church, Satan's in trouble. As they say, the gig is over. What that means is that the game is over. In other words, the war that Satan has been waging for now nearly 6,000 years will come quickly to an end. Jesus could leave the most holy place. Satan's head would be crushed. Eden lost would become Eden restored. And Satan says, I cannot let that happen. And so he wants to blind our minds to the importance of what the church is really for. The church is not for entertainment. The church is not a social club. The church is not a YMCA. The church is not just for forms and preliminaries. But, but the devil wants to give us a traditional understanding because if we understand what the real reason is, he's in trouble. Now let me show you what the prophet says. We'll come and read that in just a moment. Look what the prophet says. Coming from CSW. CS double stands, stands for Council of the Sabbath, uh, Sabbath School Work. Let's read this together. It says, Father, please anoint your words. We've opened it. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's read this together. What does it say? It says, the purity and simplicity of the Sabbath school must not be swallowed up in such an endless variety of forms. Now, a form is just something we just do. Custom, tradition. It says, that sufficient time cannot be devoted to what? Religious you know, sometimes you can have so many preliminaries that it actually takes the place of what church is really for. Yeah. But unless sometimes persons have preliminaries, they don't think they had church. It says the beauty and success of the school are in its simplicity and earnestness in what? Sorry. Serving God. So there's a simplicity that should be in the church that will remark what God is trying to accomplish. It says, nothing can be done without what? Should we have order? We should. God is a God of order, but not form. Without order, without his spirit. It says, uh, uh, it says that, that without order, and nothing can be done without order and regulation, but these may be arranged so as to shut out greater and more important duties. We have already seen the beginning of the end start. God has given us the ability to have a scope now, you've, you've heard me ask the question before. Here's, the, here's a little deer inside of the scope. Now, somebody said, oh, poor deer. <laughs> In that scope. Well, it depends on if you have a garden or not, if you think he's poor. <laughs> but, but, but here, you, you see that scope, and what is the purpose of that scope? What is the purpose of it? Talk to me, somebody. Accuracy. That accuracy on that scope is to make sure, you know, that, without that little scope, you might shoot, the, and all of a sudden the bullet just go, but it didn't go nowhere. But with that scope, giving that, uh, 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 that with those uh, what do you call it again those crosshairs are designed to allow the target to be right on point now do you know that God has made it possible for seven at Venice to have an accuracy more accurate than that crosshair on that scope so that we can see what's coming and not guess the Bible says surely the Lord God will do nothing but reveal his secret to his servants the prophets Jesus through the testimony of Jesus said in great controversy 598 that we have a chart pointing out every way mark on the heavenward journey, and we ought not to guess at anything. We have accuracy, and God is showing us in every field of knowledge, the Bible, the spirit of prophecy, and indeed every field of knowledge, that something is coming. In 2024, that first generation is going to begin to die or to lose their position. And then the fifth generation, biblically, begin to come on the scene, which means that in 2024 then, that means if there's been no change for the better question, have we changed for the better? The Bible says worse and worse. That means that God then must start allowing in a special way judgments to fall upon us in 2024. This is religious denomination. Now, I'm not even talking about the secular world. Are you understand what I'm telling you? This is prophetic in its nature. 
If you were blessed by this study and would like to be a part of the BTI, that's Bible Training Institute, simply have your Bible pen and paper handy and check out our weekly studies by logging on to molministry.com forward slash BTI. Also, tune in every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the latest Maranatha.